Hello and welcome to News Creators, your trusted source for the most extraordinary stories in AI and neuroscience. Today, we're witnessing history. Bradford G. Smith, the third person in the world and the very first ALS patient to receive a Neuralink brain implant, has just created this video using nothing but his mind. Bradford, who's nonverbal due to ALS, typed and edited everything by imagining tongue movements and clenching his jaw. No keyboard, no voice, no hands. The narration you're hearing, that's an AI recreation of his own voice, trained on recordings from before he lost the ability to speak. For Bradford, this isn't just technology, it's a lifeline and a glimpse into a future where brain implants could restore communication, movement, and even senses for millions. Stuck in a dark room, Neuralink lets me go outside and ignore lighting changes. So how does Neuralink work? The implant is in my motor cortex, which is the part of my brain that controls body movement. The actual implant is the size of five US quarters in a stack. It replaced the hole in my skull. The threads are placed by a robot just a few millimeters into my brain, avoiding the blood vessels so there is almost no bleeding. It connects to the computer via Bluetooth, and the computer does a lot of processing. This is a feed from the 1,024 electrodes in my brain. In green, it looks like the matrix. This is the raw signal that my brain is giving the computer. The computer has to decide what is important, finding the signal and ignoring the noise. The Neuralink implant embedded in my brain contains 1,024 electrodes that capture neuron firings every 15 milliseconds, generating a vast amount of data. AI processes this data on a connected MacBook Pro to decode my intended movements in real time to move the cursor on my screen. Neuralink does not read my deepest thoughts or words I think about. It just reads how I want to move and moves the cursor where I want. How do I train the system? This is how I train the system to interpret my intended movements. I move the cursor to the bubble and hold over it until it disappears. The yellow targets are just for holding over and the blue targets are for clicking. We initially tried to move my hand to control the cursor, but it was not doing well. After a lot of research and mapping how body movements match the signals from my brain, Neuralink engineers found that my tongue was the best for moving the cursor and clenching my jaw was best for clicking. So I trained the system with my tongue and it works much better. I am not actively thinking about my tongue. Just like you don't think about your wrist when you move a mouse. I have done a lot of cursor movements in my life. I think my brain has switched over to subconscious control quickly, so I just think about moving the cursor. This is WebGrid. It is the way Neuralink and others use to quantify how well they are able to decode intentions. I click boxes and it measures my score. If I click outside the target, my score goes down. I have reached a top score of five. My score was less than one before Neuralink with eye gaze. You can try WebGrid on Neuralink.com slash WebGrid and you can see how fast you are. Tools to make it work. This is the mixer, which has tools to adjust how the cursor behaves. First is bias correction. Because the brain is constantly changing, the cursor drifts over time. So it is like the cursor moves in a random direction. This tool lets me adjust how the cursor drifts. This is a great reason why Neuralink is doing human trials, because the monkeys cannot explain how the cursor drifts. Monkeys just give up when bias gets difficult and want snacks. They are like my children in that way. This is the speed control. It changes the speed that the cursor moves around. Speed also changes across different models and over time. Able-bodied people can adjust the mouse speed dynamically, and I can do that a bit. But the speed control sets the baseline speed for the cursor. I adjust it often. These are friction and smoothing that are more advanced settings that refine cursor movements. They might change as Neuralink develops the system. The last thing is the click stiffness, which adjusts how hard it is to click. Keyboard and parking spot. This is the virtual keyboard developed by Neuralink. I can't move or speak, so I rely on the keyboard for everything. It gives word suggestions for the situation, and it pushes apps out of the way. I do a lot of different things with keyboard shortcuts. So I created a keypad using the Mac accessibility keyboard to make some keystrokes easy to use. Things like select all, copy, paste, undo, and ways to navigate the page are all really useful, and I can use the toolbar and some shortcuts. The other feature I asked for is the parking spot. Sometimes you just want to park the cursor and watch a video. The first two participants could use voice commands to pause the cursor. I could not do that. So I asked for a way to park it, so it would only come out when I want it to. I can go to the bottom right, and the cursor jumps into the circle. When I want to get out, I have to hit the dots in a specific order, and it jumps out. When it is in the parking spot, I can watch a show or take a nap without worrying about the cursor. I heard that the other two people love this feature, the chat app and communication. The hardest thing about ALS is thinking much faster than I can type. We have created a chat app that uses AI to listen to the conversation and gives me options to say in response. It uses Grok3, 
and an AI clone of my old voice to generate options for me to say. It is not perfect, but it keeps me in the conversation and it comes up with some great ideas. My friend asked me for ideas for his girlfriend who loves horses. I chose the option that told him in my voice to get her a bouquet of carrots. What a creative and funny idea. We are also working on a faster way to type with the cursor. The standard keyboard is designed for two hands to alternate sides. We found a keyboard designed for a single finger or mouse, but I know the standard keyboard really well. Is it faster to start over and learn a new keyboard? I used Grok AI to make this app to train me on the new keyboard. I don't know how to code, but Grok walked me through it and wrote the code. So I'm really impressed. What does it mean for me? Neuralink has given me freedom, hope, and faster communication. Overall, the whole Neuralink experience has been fantastic. It has improved my life so much. I am so happy to be involved in something big that will help many people. I have enjoyed working hard with interesting people on important questions. I am still trying to get faster at communication. I have spent the past few years with ideas and thoughts that I cannot share because it takes too much time to type it out. I can already communicate faster and in more ways than I could before, and we are still working on ways to get even faster. Like Noland, the first Neuralink recipient, I believe that God has put me in this position to serve others. I have not always understood why God afflicted me with ALS, but with time I am learning to trust his plan for me. I'm a better man because of ALS. I'm a better disciple of Jesus Christ because of ALS. I'm closer to my amazing wife, literally and figuratively because of ALS. I get to work with the brilliant people at Neuralink and do really interesting work, all because of ALS and because we listened when the Holy Spirit told us to move to Arizona, where Neuralink ended up opening their first site. Don't get me wrong, ALS still really sucks. But I am talking about the big picture. That is what I have learned. God loves me and my family. He has answered our prayers in unexpected ways. He has blessed my kids and our family. So I'm learning to trust that God knows what he is doing. The big picture is, I am happy. Tiffany is the greatest person I've ever known, and I get to spend eternity with her. My kids are doing well, especially under the circumstances. And I can control the computer with telepathy. Life is good. If you found this as inspiring as we did, please share this video, because the more people see what's possible, the faster we can make these life-changing breakthroughs accessible to all. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more remarkable AI news right here on News Creators.